Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's 3 p.m. Monday afternoon here, live from Yokohama, Japan. Yes, Yokoso News Weekly is, even though I claim it as a weekly show, somehow I'm doing it as a two days in a row. Hello everyone, this is Katz from Yokoso News, uh, Yokoso News Weekly. Yokoso News is the online website to introduce Japan in English so that you can understand Japan more. <laughs> and today I am in Yokohama, Japan at the uh, Cafe Pero. Uh, Club Pero. Club Pero. Club Pero. Club Pero, I'm sorry. <laughs> Club Pero, the uh, dog training facility for dog trainer. So uh, you come here if you want to train, if you want to become a dog instructor, uh, this is the place that you should come. But beforehand, before we go into uh, introduce Dingo uh, today, since uh, I have next to me, what do you call it? Kazuya. Kazuya. Just call me Kaz. Kazu. Mm. Kazu-san and Mika-san joining us to Yay. Yokoso Yay. News. Yay! Oh, good afternoon, everyone. So, uh, actually, some of you might remember our Yokohama um, curry cooking yes. contest uh, yes. last September. We actually it did it. It was last September? Yeah, it was last yeah. December. Uh, September. Wow, that's quick. It's yeah. been a uh, half year, actually. Wow. So, I revisited this place good and last time i was last just doing we, curry yeah, contest that's right. yeah but uh this time do you, you know, remember who was the winner then uh no i don't oh no you try to forget about it yeah yes. there is I, another I, competitor yeah that's yeah, right another the competitor winner. is watching us behind the just camera too us, but yes. uh Today, so you know, last time I was just here to do the curry contest, but this is actually a dog training facility. So, yeah. so yes. why not, not <laughs> talk the about the pet? Mm -hmm. yes. This time, yes. although I ate curry mm. an hour ago, but uh, yeah, it's, that's right. It's he it's had kinda. my curry about it's an hour ago, <laughs> and surprisingly, although he had lunch, he had uh, two, two bowls. <laughs> yeah, two plates. No, I, did, I only I only had a late breakfast at oh, uh, ten o'clock. So that's different. So mm, breakfast but, uh, on lunch. Yep, good, yep, good, yep, good. Yep, yep. Okay. So, so, but anyway, so mm. today, you know, we could talk about. Uh, I'm sure many of you who wants to move move to Japan mm. may want to buy a pet, mm. especially dog or bird. Mm. Like actually, I have My Badomi san. Yes, it's a cockatiel. <laughs> yeah. Tenma. Old? Yes, she was uh, she was ten born in old. June last year. So, so ten months old. Ten months. Yes. Yeah. So we baby. could uh, we could talk about um, uh, what's what what Having you should expect. Yes. To buy have have a dog as your pet. Uh, yes. I, maybe uh, so. Dogs, if you have any questions, cats, please mm. log on to the social timeline on Twitter mm. or Facebook, mm. so that you can ask us a question. We are not hundred percent. Well, we are experts to cert uh, for the dog training, and they are experts of dog training. Mm. But uh, you know, we will try to answer as much as possible. Mm. Yes. So, uh, yep, moving to Japan with your pet mm. from other another co country is hard too. Yes. Mm. Uh, Sakurako 1026, which is uh, Sarah from uh, Yokoso News as well. Thank you for do, making the comment. Do you have any pets at home? Yeah, she 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 uh, she tried to move bars. Sarah, was it bars? Uh, but the birds, yeah, really? Yeah, oh, I'm she, looking she was for having... many birds friends right now. So <laughs> why don't we make friends now? <laughs> cool. So so uh, you know, um, moving to other country is hard. Yeah, but uh, today I will. First of all, focus on probably dog, yes. because uh, this, dog, this is dog is the most. Facility. Yeah, this is dog training facility too, and uh, oh, cockatiel, cockatiel. Yay! Cock oh, really? Are you sure? Great. Oh. Yes, we are cockatiel friends. <laughs> mm. Yes. So, we'll so talk what, about it later. Yeah, yes. we, we will. Uh, we will talk about um, a dog first. So, you know, mm -hmm. a dog in Japan, mm -hmm. the number pop population of mm -hmm. dog in Japan actually surpassed 
the number of kids in Japan. It's surprising. Yeah. That's mm. the information I got uh, it from Cuts today. <laughs> according, <laughs> really to, uh, according to uh, TV Tokyo's news a couple of weeks ago. Really? So, uh, um, you know, because it's, you know, I kind of have to say it's getting hard to uh, raise the kids. And it still costs money to uh, have your have have the dog as your pet, mm -hmm. but I mean it's relatively cheaper and relatively easier. Relatively cheaper uh, to to uh, <laughs> have a dog rather than your real kids. So uh, more people are having are interested in uh, having a dog as a pet. So uh, we'll talk about you know how you can expect to uh, buy a dog and have a dog? Well, so. in Japan, same as other countries, there are many ways to acquire a dog. You can visit the, uh, the shelters or mm. you can get the pets at the pet shops mm. and cool. maybe from breeders mm. and even from the internet. Mm. Um, well, I was, I was actually, um, I started my, um, my dog life while, when I was in England mm. and, uh, and I went to, uh, I was raised in Japan. So for, for me, it was natural to go to a pet shop to get a dog. But uh, when I went to uh, the pet shops in England, I couldn't find any dogs. It was really surprising and shocking. Mm. And what I found out, it was, uh, it was not allowed or it was not, you know, uh, a, a good thing to, um, to, to sell pets in, uh, in pet shop outside of Japan. Uh, so I went to, uh, to, uh, to a breeder's mm. and tried to find the, uh, the Labrador my first Labrador. Mm. So my first Labrador came from the, the, uh, the breeder. Mm. But in Japan, it's, uh, I don't know if it's a good thing, I mean, but you can easily get a pet in, uh, at, at the pet shops. Mm. Um, but it, as you know, mm. some people don't like it. Yeah, some pet shops are good. Some pet, pet shops are good, some pet shops are not good. Mm. Um, what, what do you mean by good pet <laughs> shop and not, not good pet shop? Well, the, uh, the puppies have the, uh, the very important um, stage mm. of growth, mm. which is what we call critical period. Mm. And that period, they, uh, the puppies spend at the pet shops. They, well, some people say that they get stress mm. and, uh, and not many good experiences. Mm. But with, if you choose to go to the good pet shop, mm. they care about the uh, socialization and many experiences, especially good experiences and some training. So if you can find those pet good pet shops, mm. it, it's not a bad thing to get a pet at the, uh, the pet shops. I see, I see. Yeah, even, even some, even though you get the, um, the dogs at the breeders, mm. some breeders are not good. Mm. So what you need to, to do is to learn what's the good environment for the pets. So that's always important. Don't decide pet shop, all the pet shops are not good. Some pet shops are good, some pet shops are not good. Mm. Some breeders are good, some breeders are not good. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's rare in America also for dogs. To, to be, be in a pet, pet shop. shop. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I think, especially in the United States, when we visit the uh, big pet shops like Pet Pet PetSmart or Pet Smart or Petco, mm. they uh, they bring their the uh, the dogs from the shelter, mm. and they uh, the customers can have uh, experiences with those dogs, and if they like them, mm. they can take them home. Right. Mm. I think that's a very good thing, and some, as you may know, some pet shops in Japan are trying to do the same thing right now. Mm. Yes. 
Mm. So uh, yes, so that's the, how you can. Uh, there are some sources that they can acquire pets in Japan. I see. And uh, so there's a you there's a how many ways that you can Think buy a pet? Yeah. Well, you can either go to a pet shop. Yeah. Well, choose the good one though. Yeah. And breeders mm. and shelters mm. and maybe from private breeder. Oh, private breeders. Oh, friends, well. of friends, of course. All yeah. friends, of course. Mm. So, how do you find a good breeder? How, good breeder. Yeah. How how you well. you just try you usually you find a good breeder in Japan? Mm. <laughs> very Tell me, yes. I mean, very well, I'm sure there's an internet you go to or a friend. Well, I think, oh, I think it's, it's really hard to say who's good and who's bad. Mm. So what I suggest to all of you mm. is, to, is to get the information, mm. what's needed mm. for the puppy mm. at that uh, growth stage. Mm. And all, with all those information, if you go and visit the, the breeder, then we will know if he's good or bad. And uh, I like to say that so many people get dogs before learning about dogs. So learn before you acquire a dog, mm. right? So yes. We That's hope to go to pre-owner class. Yes, that before uh, getting uh, getting dogs. Yes, yes. Yeah. So there, there the should bench. be. There are when you try to look for when you try to go to the pet pet shop in Japan. Mm. Maybe there is a bulletin board, mm. or there is an internet you can search that there is a pre. You know, there there should be a training course. I mean, you do have to know Japanese, though. Mm. I think. But, well, uh, if you can come to Yokohama, <laughs> then, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Then, uh, yeah, we we can uh, we can give you some good information. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sure, sure, Where sure, the, sure. Uh, the socialization is really. Um, needed uh -huh. good experiences <coughs> with um, with with good experiences for the puppy is mm. really really important mm. to have a healthy growth yeah, of yeah. The, uh, the the behaviors mm. yeah yeah, yes. yeah yeah so we have a question where is there where yeah. a good shelter for adoption in Japan also also um, well, there is one in Nagoya. Oh, she lives near Nagoya. I see. Um, well, if you if you contact me directly, then I'll tell you who's the um, the right person to contact. Mm. But of course, but, uh, you, we want to know like where, yeah. where. I mean, so usually there are some volunteer groups that help the. Um, the adopted dog. Okay. Yeah, that help the people who want to adopt a dog. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so if you call up the shelter, local shelter, and ask if they have any volunteer people working with them, and then call that volunteer person to find out if they have got any good puppies or good adult dogs that need new home. Mm. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, any anything else about the uh, getting a dog? Getting a dog. Uh, any any. Well, the anything? number of. Do do we have to like what what do we have to, like for example if you want to have some kind of brand, how do you say brand brand breed, dog breed breed special breed, special yes. breed dog? How can we tell like with, with that, that's the right breed or? Not right breed for your lifestyle. You mean? Or no, no. I mean, breed. when you when you when you buy when pure you breed. buy pure the uh, pure yeah. How 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 pure can you dog. distinguish this is a pure breed of the dog or not? How do you distinguish? How 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 can you judge that you're buying the right dog? Torokushou. Well, uh, if you have a dog, the. Um, if you have a puppy, the puppies are all have to be, if it's purebred, has to have to be registered at the uh, JKC, right? Mm. Japan Kennel Club. Japan. Japan Kennel Club. Kennel. 
Kennel. Kennel Club. Has to be, but uh, JKC is uh, one of uh, the biggest registration organization. Oh, I see. For dogs. Yes. So, oh. so, so you should look for the <coughs> third. If you want to buy a pure, pure breed dog, you mm. should uh, ask for the uh, Japan Kennel, Kennel Club. Club's certification. Okay? And then any, well, if, if you have more questions about acquiring the dog in Japan, please leave a comment, but we will proceed to the next mm. question, next uh, step. Mm. So you buy a dog, mm. okay. what do you have to prepare when you, when, when you bring the dog home? Yes, the, the first thing the puppy would do, puppy or dog would do at home is pee. <laughs> pee, poo, pee and poo. <laughs> so you need to prepare for the dog where is the toilet mm. and the, uh, to avoid the mistake for the dog I mean for mistake to be happen it's it's really important to decide where you make the pet's toilet are you going to have let them do the pee and poo outside or inside? And take the pet, take the dog to where you think, oh, this is going to be the toilet. And then wait until they do their job. And then praise a lot. Then they will know that, oh, this is the place. and. Once they get praised or once they get some treats or reward, they will be happy and there will be a reason for them to do the toilet there. Then there will be less chance of making mistakes. So if it's a puppy, the, uh, I think they do the toilets every two, three hours. So before making the mistake, you should take a puppy to the toilet and then wait until they do their job and as soon as they finish their job mm -hmm. give some treats or give some praise and say good boy or good girl and then they will know without they will learn without mm -hmm. making any mistakes so mm -hmm. that's going to be a good start for your dog or puppy okay i yes. see i see and so, mm -hmm. yes and you may need some uh crate or um, you know, the cage for mm -hmm. the dog to keep them safe when you cannot see them, observe them. Because the uh, dogs are naturally curious and they would like to go out and find out what, what this is, oh, what, what that is. And every time they go for searching something, you might have to say, no, 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 because that's dangerous for the dog. Dogs will not like you <laughs> because you would say, "Oh, all you say, all you would say is no, 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 no." So, uh, first, you manage the environment so that dogs will be happy, and you don't have to say no. You don't have to punish the dog. Then, make more opportunities to praise the dog for doing good things, and then and then release or uh, loosen the management gradually. Mm. So, I see. yes, I think you need to acquire the, uh, the crate, cage, or puppy pen, mm. or pen mm. thing. Well, that's, that's yeah, that's, that's, that's really similar to us, uh, what people do the rest of the uh, world as well, I think. But mm -hmm. uh, is there any like special, oh, special thing, thing that you have to like be aware of in Japan? Ah, yes. Besides uh, the U. I I mean, besides yes. basic stuff? Yes. Um, not all the dogs like to be touched. There are the feet, legs. So prepare dogs to like to be touched around their feet and legs because we take off our shoes and not, not many. If you want to take a dog to a Japanese style inn, mm -hmm. maybe at your home is okay. Barefoot and muddy feet, you may allow them to come in. But uh, if you want to make a visit at friend's house, 
your friends may not li like it. So train your dog to accept wiping of the uh, the foot mm. handling mm. by other people or being wiped by a towel or something like that. Mm. I think that's uh, mm, that's special. Yeah, yeah that's that's a really good Japan. point. Yeah, yes. so we take off the shoes. So uh, you have to train your dog to. Uh, to be wiped wipe. and clean, yeah. clean, cleaning of your yes. feet. Yeah, that's, since, I think since that's one that, thing. Since the puppy. Oh, yeah. that's, that's, that's really interesting, yeah. Mm, mm. Um, but uh, how, these days, uh, well, I used to have a dog when I was a kid, but yeah. I used to just let them be outside of the mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. But um, it was it's like 20 changing. years ago. It's yes, changing it's now. Changing. So what's, what's about now? Uh, do people... Uh, by the, you know, keep the dog inside of the house or outside in Japan? More people keep their dogs inside of the house. I think the, uh, the situation has changed a lot, especially for the last decade or so. So I, th I think in my opinion, especially the, uh, with the people around me, keep their dogs inside of the house. Mm, I see. Do Japanese have dogs nail clipped? To not to scratch the floor, Sarah? Oh, especially uh, tatami mats? Yeah. <laughs> yes, so that's another thing that um, your dog needs to be trained. Yes, nail clipped. So they, they need like to get used to uh, be uh, nail clipped. Yes. I, yeah, yes. That's, that's really good. And, the, and also, the smell of the tummy mat, it's, uh, maybe it's difficult for the dog to distinguish make a difference? What's the difference between the outside of the, uh, the grass, grass and the tummy mat? Mm. So, toilet training is very, very important mm. in mm. Japan, I think. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, tatami is What's grass, difference? bamboo, made yeah. of bamboo. So yeah. it's a smell, smell of grass and dog pee on grass outside. Yeah. So how, oh, okay, cool. How do you train them? <laughs> <laughs> so what we do is to make use the, the toilet sheet, uh -huh. toilet pads for dogs for inside of the, uh, the house toilet. Uh -huh. So that the, uh, they think it's good to do the toilet on the, t not on the, uh, the toilet sheet instead of the tummy mat. Mm. I think that's the best way. Okay. Yes. Okay. Got it. But it, it is all, you, you, it, you really take a long time to have okay. them distinguish between tatami and grass. What What do you think? I don't think so. Okay, mm. it's easy. It's easy. Okay. If mm. uh, if uh, you don't make mistakes. Okay. Mm. Yes. What kind yes. of mistake? Um, Pee on the on tatami, tatami okay. mat many okay. times. Mm. Okay. Yes. Mm. And that the uh, the odor the uh, the smell yeah. stays. Yeah. Inside the tatami, <laughs> so it's difficult to take everything mm. off. Yeah, so yeah, even yeah. though you clean it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's like so, a floor mat too. Yeah. <laughs> so. To avoid making mistake is mm. is the uh, is a good strategy, mm -hmm. I think. So that's the uh, first uh, time you bring in. Do you have to do? Do you have to do anything? Any other stuff in Japan? Especially in Japan. Um, can you think of any? Hmm. Maybe the shots. Oh, the shots! I think it's almost two shots. Rabies. 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 Mm. Rabies. Yes. I think when you yes, you need to register your dog at your local city office, mm. and then the uh, if you do it, you get the uh, notice mm. postcards mm. every year from your local city office. Mm. And then you will know, well, the, the shots for the rabies, that there is a season, and it's between, I think it's, it's April? starting, yeah, it's starting very soon, in mm. April. Mm. And you get a postcard from the local city office just before that. Then you will know, oh, I need to take my dog to the rabies shots. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if you take that postcard, 
mm. to the uh, to the local vet or uh, they do some um, group group rabies vaccination outside. H have you been there before? Yes, Th they, they um, especially in that season they do prepare the special setting for the rabies shots and with that postcard there is announcement there is a notice that there's there is a group rabies shots will be held will be on mm -hmm. such and such date at where and then you will take your dog to that place then you will be able to get a shot uh, so how much is it gonna cost I think it's around 3,000 yen. Okay. So $30. Okay. Then even even you won't be able to make it to those uh, group shots day, you could you go can, to the vet office. You can still go to the vet, o vet okay. office or animal hospital, what okay. we call. Yes. Okay. So uh, um, um, that's the shots, rabies shot, any, rabies any other shots. shots that we have? It, so what if you didn't do the shots? Rabies? Yeah. There is no. It's well, not it's law. legal. It's more legal. It's legal. It, it, we have to. We have to do so, it. So, so if you <laughs> if you don't go do the rabies shot, mm. you get caught. Well, not really. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not really, though. But but it, but it's legal. Mm. So you. It's it's, you it, it's ob obligation. Oh, it's as an obligation. As a pet owner, yes, yes. you you do yeah. have to. Uh, go do the rabies shot and then once actually um, it's coming up to many volunteers mm -hmm. are trying to uh, catch the strolling dog mm -hmm. uh, yeah, mm -hmm. in, or cats mm -hmm. right like right right now mm -hmm. and yes. the volunteers are working really really hard to mm -hmm. uh, give them the rabi rabies shots as well mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah Yes, all the dogs in Japan are getting the rabies shots, including the um, strained strain dogs <laughs> and cats as well in Japan. Um, that's, uh, so what, so uh, do you like, do you want to have your dog check, check up frequently in Japan or what, how's the health? situation in dog? I think it's almost the same in the other countries. Okay. Yeah, some people take their dogs to the vets often, mm -hmm. regularly, and some people don't at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think there is not much change. But, but as an expert, how, what do you recommend? Take your dog to your vets regularly. Well, how, how, how frequent? Well... Once a month? Once, once a, a month? month? Really? Yeah, once a month. Or uh, do you? I think you no, don't. No, as professional. <laughs> as a professional, yes. Uh, so that, uh, just a recommendation. Oh, just a recommendation. So how much? So can I? Can I? Uh, how much do you do you think it's going to? Uh, oh, okay. So let's let's uh, let's let's talk about the cost at the end. So mm. in Japan, the dog. What kind of diet do you usually give it to dog? Again, it depends on the owner. Okay. Yes, yeah, some people spend, for me, as an example, my dog used to be on the um, what we call bath diet. That's a raw food diet. Mm. It was completely uh, raw meat and fresh vegetables and fruits. I've got two labs at home. I spent 60,000 yen a month. Wow. Which is $600 a month. month. What? <laughs> Just for the diet. <laughs> I think that's oh one of God, the... Oh my God, that's uh, more than uh, uh, human, uh, human I beings. Think <laughs> I think that's, <laughs> yeah, that, that could be more than I spent for yeah, a month, yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> an extreme case. But uh, in general, people spend about... How much do you think? They they don't know how it's going Depends on the size. Okay. Oh yes, that's true. Depends on the size. Top. Mm. By the way, the uh, the top ten um, registered. Yeah, registered dogs 
at the, the JKC, Japan Kennel Club, a raw small top breeze. 12. Mm. Top 12, a raw small breeze. Mm. In Japan dogs now. In Japan. Mm. So United States, the number one breed is still Labrador. I mm. think, yes, number mm. one mm. dog. Mm. It's still a Labrador for since, the uh, consecutive years 14 years or so. Mm. Mm. Yes, for yes, as I said, because of the uh, residential situation mm. in Japan, mm. people tend to have smaller breeds like Papillon mm. or Chihuahua, Miniature Dachshund, those, those toy poodles. The poodles, yes, small breeds are getting more popular. Yes. Mm. About mm. 10 or 15 years ago, larger breeds like Labrador, mm. Golden Retrievers and Huskies. Huskies are all popular, but it's changing. Mm. 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 And according to the size of the dog, as Kazia said, the, um, the, 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 the money they spend on the, the diet it's changing. Yeah, it depends, varies. Yes. Okay. Yes. But um, so, w w do you usually give a dog food, or do you actually give them a? M in general, in Japanese general. people give them a dog food, or you actually cook, cook. The food for them. Well, in general, I think um, many people go for the kibbles, what you call the, the dog food. Mm -hmm. That's the kibbles. But with some owner, special owners, they would like to cook the food mm. for the uh, for their own dogs. So they spend more money on that. And there are so many books published on how to cook a good diet, good food for the dogs. And uh, if you go to, if you visit the uh, the local pet shops, there are so many kinds of uh, like cooked food, mm. especially for the dogs, mm. not like the um, just uh, kibbles, mm. dried food. Okay. okay, I see. So uh, now it comes to uh, the uh, when you get your dog sick. Oh, yeah. So uh, what do we have to, you know, of course, uh, eventually mm. uh, dogs get sick sometime and, you know, what do you what do you have to prepare for it? Like, for example, do we do you have insurance? Ah, uh, yes, and we do. Yes. So, okay. Yes, we. Yeah, okay. We do have some insurances here, and uh, and I think it's the same as other countries, but it depends. It's different from uh, what age your dog is. Mm. But, but again, with my dog's case, my dog who's at the, um, who is 12 and a half years at the moment, had an ulcer, stomach mm -hmm. ulcer, two years ago, and it costed, uh, how much was it? Nijumayen. Two, yeah, uh, 200,000 yen. 200,000 yen, yen. For the treatments. Surgery and everything? Well, he didn't have to have the surgery. If he had to have the surgery, it would it, it would have costed more. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. It cost it cost him, it cost him uh, two hundred thousand yen. Okay. Yes. So, but everything was covered by insurance that time. So mm. that I, I think I was lucky. How m so in your case, how much do you pay? What what kind of dog do you have, Mika? Labradors. That's a large breed. Okay. And uh, and I think I pay about one hundred dollars, about one hundred dollars a month, as an insurance. Hmm. Hundred bucks a month. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So ten thousand yen a month. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How about small dog? How much usually cost? I think the size is not. Important. Important. It's about age. It's about age. age. So twelve yeah. years old dog. It's really old. It's really old. That's why it's expensive. Yes, that's right. Okay. So if but you so start your insurance at the early age, mm -hmm. I think the um, the uh, insurance. What do you call? What do you say? 
Okay. Uh, sure. no, 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 there is uh, a special word I know, for I know, it. I know, I know. Yes, I know it. <laughs> not, not the premium, but um, somebody help. <laughs> The, no, uh, well, it's a premium. No premium. premium. I know, I know. But installment. Installment? Yeah. Well, the money you have to pay every month. Yeah, <laughs> installment. I think installment. Okay. I think. Yes. Sarah, can you help me? Yeah, yeah. please. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think they uh, they're gonna have to pay. Uh, the, it would start about from five thousand yen or something like that. Okay, five thousand yen maybe. Yeah. 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 We'll see. Mm. Yes, so you go to a vet once the once the dog is getting sick, mm -hmm. and if you are covered by insurance, you may not have to pay anything. Mm -hmm. But if you're not, you have to pay some some deductibles. Vet, yeah. Yes, some some vets take credit card, but some vets don't. So and it's expensive. You have to mm. be prepared for that. Yeah. So yes. know your vets, nearby vets. Go go to the yes. vets frequently. And checkups and, check. and yeah. yes. How much is, is it gonna cost to do uh, regular checkups, health checkups? If you do, if you include the, uh, if you want the vets to include the blood test, I think it's around again one hundred bucks. Okay. 10,000 yen? Okay. Yeah, 10,000 yen. Around 10,000 no, 10, yen? Yes, 10,000 okay. yen. But if you do not have the blood test, I think the rate starts from. 1,000 yen? 1,000 yen or so. Okay. Well, of course, it depends on the depends complexity. On the but what do you recommend? Hmm? What do you recommend to. Uh, what do you recommend? To uh, like, what kind of checkups do you recommend to do, like, for dogs? Yes. Well, first of all, talk to your dog and watch your dog, and you know, pet your dog every day by yourself, and then you will know if there is any problem. That's the first thing you can do at home without any cost, and it will deepen your relationship with your dog. And if you and if you find any problem, or if you think, hmm, you know, something in a doubt, then you can take your dog to the vet. And, and was your question how often? Yeah, how often? Yes. And because sometimes you want to go detailed checkups. Oh, yes. Sometimes you could do uh, just a casual checkup. Yeah. How mm -hmm. frequent you should do and what kind, what is that casual and what's the detailed checkups and stuff? Well, the casual, I would say uh, the weight check to see if my dog gets fat or not. Weight, weight check. Weight okay. check. Okay. Weight check and eye ear and some uh, like like you do just the uh, the heartbeat is it going well or that kind of thing heartbeat blood heartbeat, pressure blood pressure not much pr blood but pressure not much but much. yes yes but that kind of thing just the, just the, just the general thing but that you you, you should go to the uh, vet clinic or you could do. You, you could can try do to at do at home. Oh, yes, okay, you can do at home. Okay. And if you do it at home, you can do it like every day. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Of course. So yes. so that don't require the vet, you know, mm -hmm. a doctor mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Then but when do you want, when do you recommend? How often do you recommend to go to the vet to check up if detail? If your dog is still young, maybe every six months or so. Uh huh. I would recommend. Okay. But if your dog is getting old, I would re recommend every month. Okay. Or maybe at least every three months or so. Okay. Mm. So so for um, then do those uh, blood tests, checkups, and everything. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. That which cost ten thousand yen or so. Yes. Five thousand yen to ten thousand. Yes. Yen. Yes. yes. Okay. So cool. You have to save some money for your pets. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, can all animals get insurance, like birds or just dogs? Well, I'm not sure about birds. I have to. Sarah. Yes, that's a very Sarah. That's a very, very good question. My my cockatiel is still very young, but I haven't uh, thought about the insurance for the birds. I, I know there is a one for cats. Yes, yes, the cats and dogs they do have insurances. Yes. 
Hamster? No. I'm not sure. Small animal? No. Turtle? Maybe not. No. Maybe not. I think part of the reason, just it's just my opinion, is that the uh, identification of each each one may be difficult for the small animals. Okay. Maybe that's why they don't. It's hard have to. Any it's hard to. Uh, it hard, it's hard to diagnose to the especially for the small animal and every to and predict. I, I, yeah, and identify the uh, the individual, each individual. Mm. If it's dog, you can take a picture, and also you may have the uh, registration uh, certificate from okay. the KC okay. or the uh, the tattoo. Okay. Yeah, to as an ID uh -huh. or. Um, I see embed, embedded IC chip? Mm. Yes, chip. Okay. Yes. Micro yes. Microchip. Microchip. Yes. But mm. with these small guys, mm. maybe difficult. So mm. maybe that's why they don't set the insurance mm. policy. Okay. Birds in America vet visit are very expensive. So maybe Same in here. Japan too. Same here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's almost the same as the dogs. I uh, I took my uh, bird to the uh, the bird clinic. It was last month, and it costed about one hundred bucks. Wow! Oh, I, I haven't told him yet, but I, uh, <laughs> but it was paid from for, the for company's what? office money. Well, that was just a physical check. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, so didn't take Mi Mika-san is pretty much spending close to uh, uh, 100,000 yen per, per month for the pets. For each pet? For oh, each pet. Three. No, 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 no. I mean 100,000 yen. 100,000? No, no, no. Do you mind here? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah. It's, wow. Okay, Mika-san really is spending it's so much 100,000 yen every I month. I think I spent less for myself. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, uh, Sarah said it cost her hundred dollars for them to look her wing, feather, and heartbeat. Mm. Yes, yes, so it that's what kind of same. Same. It cost. It will cost the same in in, uh, in, in the states in, too. The, right. in Japan as well. Mm. Yeah, and in Japan and the US. Well. So, so the price range. You in a way you could expect almost the same in the US and Japan. Mm. I think so. I. I haven't taken any animals to the vets in the United States, but I've uh, lived in England okay. for, uh, for for many years. Okay. So, with my experience, yes, it costed about the same in Japan okay. as okay. in Japan. Okay. All right. So uh, when you, so your dog gets gets sick, and well, um, I also sometimes have to talk about how when it. Die. Die. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! But uh, yes, what, but what do you have to? Yeah, what do yes. you do when, yes. when your dog died? Well, if you get onto internet, there are um, so many kinds of uh, funeral services. Okay. And uh, they can give the details, but um, there is a Buddhist temple. Temples. Which does the uh, funeral? For the dog, for the dog, for the for the pets, I, the I think pets. everything as well. So uh, uh, cremation, C cremation. Yeah. Yes, there is a cremation. Should I say service? Yeah, yeah. Or is the cremation, cremation, facility cremation facility or facility. service? Yeah. Yes, cremation facility at the um, the temples too. Oh, okay. Yes. So so what uh, do you have? What kind of paperwork do you have to do? Like at the cremation? No. Just bring bring the dog. I yes, mean, just bring maybe the body. It, it's better to call up the uh, the, te uh, the temple of or course, the facility make, make, first. Make, yeah, yes, of make course. the um, reservation <laughs> appointment. Yes, yeah. yes, and then uh, they usually uh, they usually 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 say, okay, bring in your dog or cats or birds or any animals. And money. <laughs> and money, and money, of course. And if you want to keep your pets at home until the uh, cremation? cremation day, you can do so. But you have to keep their, um, the, the, the pet's body in a low temperature. 
like using the dry ice or dry ice so if you call up again if you call up the, uh, the office no there are not so many shops that deal with the, uh, the dry ice but you can do so at home and there is also a special uh, a, a case that Coffee. keeps Coffee. no no the, the case Please. special especially to keep the uh, the dead body of the animal in a low temperature. <laughs> yes. Yes. So So there's a box. There is a well that's like a, a case, not a box, but uh. yes, but a, but it's like a, a case with zipper. I've seen it. I was surprised, but mm -hmm. yes. They sell it at the pet shop? Or no, again, if you go to uh, uh, the Fun internet, yes, the, the those are funeral pet funeral place, then they sell those bugs. They may do, okay, not all of the facilities okay. do, but the, but, at, but at least they know how to get the um, those plastic bags. Ah, I hear, mm. ah, that's that's really interesting. Yes. And if you, um, if you do not want their pets at home until those um, cremation day cremation day the uh, the temples or the facility will keep their uh, pets body okay in the cool place okay yes so whether uh, you could you could try to preserve the dead body mm -hmm. at home or go to the uh, funeral place to yes but yes. What if you live in the countryside and then um, you don't have those uh, cremation temple facility? What do you do? There are so many. There are so facilities. many. Okay. Yes. And, uh, like some, some service okay. is by car moving. Oh yeah. That's oh really? Right. There's yeah, a moving right. moving yes. funeral yes. cremation. Yeah. Oh really? Yes. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Yes. And I think it's a Japanese law to. How do you say? Bur burn. Cre cremate. Cremate the body. Cremate mm. the body. For the health cremate the body. purpose. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I thought that the uh, health office, local health office, takes the dead body to you? Yes. Government? Uh, yes. They, yeah. they, they have to. Yes. Yeah. So, so uh, if, that's, if that's, uh, one way. You, that's the one, cheapest, yeah, way. cheapest way. So if you don't have money to mm. do conduct the cremation, the real uh, ritual yeah. service, then mm. you could go to the local health office, mm. 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 animal shelter. Right? Even the, if you find a dead body on the street. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then, then yes. call, call up. You, you call, or yeah, you we actually, we just call the police office. Okay. And then they will contact to the okay. police. Okay. Okay. So you when when you find a dead body, then call call police. police. Okay. Mm. 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 All right. Cool. So uh, that has been the uh, we cover from the birth to death. Yes. I think. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's been uh, it's been uh, great. The, uh, thank you for explaining much. And if you have any question, further question, mm. well, so advanced funeral service for pets, Sarah. Yeah. Yeah, and we can invite friends um, to the uh, to the facility, mm. and we can do a little um, funeral. Mm. Is it Absolutely. Buddhist style or they do Christ Christian style, Christianity style? Do Actually, I only know we Buddhist. We only know about yeah, the, yeah, the Buddhist. Yeah, yeah the temples. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know about the others, but but I, I'm sure they're. Um, well, that's their business. Mm -hmm. So they think <laughs> about so many options mm -hmm. they prepare. Yeah, yeah for yeah, them. Maybe, so I'm maybe. sure um, you can find the one you like. Uh, yes, according to your re like. religion, I yeah, think. That's right. we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Um, so uh, let's uh, move on to uh, your training dingo part? training training part. Oh yes. Yeah. Mm. So since uh, I'm, I ask uh, them to uh, be on this, uh, you know, part this mm. fac training facility. So let's uh, talk about dingo mm. then. So uh, would you would you explain to me about this uh, dingo? Dingo. Dingo stands for um, dog 
instructor's network of great opportunity. It may sound strange mm. uh, as an English, but uh, we had to think up something. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, uh, well, we, um, we give certificate to the instructors. Mm. Uh, I mean, we, we give certificate to the people who want to become instructors, dog training instructors. Yeah. まあ、it's kind of hard to see. Mm. Yeah. ちょっと見にくいよね。Mm. Yeah. So, and also, we ourselves do the seminars and workshops all over Japan and do some classes, dog training, regular dog, tra dog training classes here, and also、uh, behavior counseling as well. And、uh, Dingo is not only in Japan. We have some dingo friends, I mean, dingo instructors in the United States.、Uh, if you're a dog people, you may have heard the name of Terry Ryan, who's based in Washington,、mm -hmm. and also Pia Silvani, Pia Silvani from St. Hubert's in New Jersey,、mm -hmm. and also、uh, Dr. Raymond Coppinger,、mm -hmm. who's the、uh, scientist. He's He's not a dingo instructor, but he's the,、uh, the dingo specialist、mm. who's in a special position to give us an advice on some dog behavior thing.、Mm. And there is one in Canada who is called Leanne Barker. She, I think she lives. In the countryside. I forgot、okay. the,、uh, the name of the name. Was, was, then, then you have in tai, Taiwan? Yes, we have three dingo instructors in Taiwan. One in Singapore. And one in Singapore, and one in, one in Hong Kong, and one in Mexico. And、uh, again, dingo specialist in Australia. Okay. So it's our activities actually worldwide, not just Japan. Okay, but you, you guys started it?、Huh? Yes. Okay. Yes.、Oh. It started from Japan. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Yes. Cool. What, so, what's, what's the, what, what is it?、Hmm. Well, we, when we started,、um, The motivational training, reward based motivational training, was not yet that popular in Japan yet. So we wanted to promote that、uh, training method. We wanted more people to、so、know about it. So you want to praise your dog when training or motivation? What motivational motivation? training. Motivational training is our training method is based on the human psychology. I mean,、okay. it's based on the psychology. Okay. And it's, the,、uh, it's, it's according to the, it's based on the rule of learning theory. Operant conditioning that was found out by、uh, B.F. Skinner in old days. And, well, the, it's, it sounds difficult, but it's simple. Okay. If you think your do, dog is doing good, reward him on that moment,、mm. then the dog will learn. Okay. Yes. So, not wait and don't wait until your dog or any animals to make a mistake. Set up the situation first for success. And if your animal gets success, then we just mark the behavior. That's a good behavior.、Uh -huh. And then give the reward or something that animals do. I、like. see. I see. And the,、uh, the frequency of the rep repetition uh -huh. Uh -huh. Will, will go up. Okay. That's a basic theory. Okay. And he, yeah, and he said,、uh, yeah, it's getting kind of difficult. Oh, thank for, you very much. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of get, getting difficult for the. the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But, But thank you, Sarah. Sarah, thank you. Thank you for posting the URL. Yeah, we have a, thank you. On the English website, too. Yes. Yeah. Dingo.gr.jp. That's. that's English website.、Mm, so、yes. without, without index underscore j.html,、mm. just the dingo.gr.jp is the English website for them. <laughs> Thank you. So,、uh, um, can I see some of your training? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, why not? And I, I know you're a clicker. The,、uh, yes, we u s e the,、uh, the training tool called、yeah. Clicker. And the.、Um, okay, Kazuya will take one of our dogs. 
for demonstration. Well, the, the um, theory sounded, may sound difficult to you, but if you look at what we are doing, that's very simple. Uh, we click for the behavior we want, and then give a reward. Yay, Lufto in the house. Yay.